Hey, you social king, what's good? It's your girl, Eva Good Barbie. You know what it is, you know how I do. Yes, I'm looking like a swami today. <laughs> I woke up silly as usual, and my hair was like phew, Don King's uh, illegitimate love child all over the place. So I had to wrap it up. I never really used this particular scarf before, but uh, I don't know if I like the fact. Anyway, I'm sitting here in my bedroom, and uh, check out this beautiful painting that's in my room. Is that gorgeous? I love that painting. Anyway, so I woke up this morning happy and giggly as ever. Happy holidays to everyone. If I didn't get a chance to wish you um, a very, very Merry Christmas, I was thinking about my mother over the holidays. So I miss my mother. My mother has unfortunately passed away. And uh, I miss her very, very, very much. So uh, Merry Christmas, Mom in Heaven keep her earned here with me all the time. So my mother's always with me. But the thing that I loved about my mother the most was her sense of humor. My mother had an incredibly wicked sense of humor. In other words, she talked about every damn body. <laughs> she talked about everybody behind their back. As soon as you left the fucking house, my mom was talking about you. <laughs> okay, so she still love you. I'd be like, mama, how come every time people come over, you be so nice to them, you give them everything, you cook, and as soon as they leave the house, she'd be talking about them like a dog, <laughs> right? And that's just the way she was. She had a wicked sense of humor, and she loved to talk about people. So that's kind of where I get my sense of humor from, is from my mom. So I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. You know, it takes some time for me to build, because I can only do my videos in two and three minute segments, and then it takes me a minute to calm myself down <laughs> to get out of the giggles so I can even begin to tell the damn story. Okay, this damn scarf is starting to worry my head, damn head. So let me get my mind right. Hookah time. <laughs> let me do a little toke toke, a little puff puff. Try something different for the holidays. And uh, then I'm going to tell you this funny story about my mother. But let me start the story by saying that when I was 18 years old, I got a job at Big Tanny. So for those of you in Canada, who don't know what Big Tanny is, we have like the Good Life chain out east. Most people know about Good Life, um, but we don't seem to have that here on the West Coast. I don't know. In Powell River, we definitely don't have any chains of fitness uh, facilities like that. But in the United States, we have a chain that's called Big Tanny. And they were huge in the 70s and 80s, right? Vic Tanny was the place to be. Everybody had a membership at Vic Tanny. So everyone knows that I was really big into fitness. I've always been an athlete. I've always been super, super fit, um, and some of you may not know, I was an American Gladiator. I was on the show American Gladiator. So the reason I tell you that was because at that time, when I was 18 years old, I had like 0.3% body fat, and that was the time when Evander Holyfield was fighting, and he had just won an Olympic gold medal. He was in incredible shape. I kept a picture of him in my office at Vic Tanny because he had 0.3%. 0.3% body fat, and it was just amazing the shape that we were in at that time in our lives. So at that time in my life, I was working for this company called Vic Tanny, and what I was doing was I was selling memberships. I was selling memberships at Vic Tanny. So this is going to lead us into the whole story <laughs> about women, female body parts. So men, if you're in the room, if you're squeamish in any way about going down there and eating like a vulture, go downtown and eat it like a vulture, the way that Missy Elliott talks about. If you're squeamish about any information about coochies and sugar dishes and vajayjays, this is not the video for you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because I'm about to talk about some shit that men just generally don't get a chance to hear women talk about. <laughs> in particular, yeast infections. <laughs> so my female friends are going to be like, Tracy, you know you was wrong for that video. You know you shouldn't be putting that shit all out in fucking public for people to see and hear. But I have to tell you this story about my mother and yeast infections, and I'm going to start with Vic Tanny. So stay tuned. Going to have a little puff puff. I'll be right back to tell you this fucking hilarious story at Christmas time. Hope you're not eating. <laughs> Peace and blessings.